How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. I think last episode we discussed that we were going to go to the uh, dueling club, the unofficial dueling club or unsanctioned, unsolicited of the records, whatever. Yep. And I think I marked it on the map. There we go. Let's go over there. I do want to duel. I want to do test out the combat. I only fought some like statue knights and a student who absolutely sucked, by the way. And I still want to do a tour around Hogwarts or two, <laughs> depending on how much time I've got here. I did. Well, let's see here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Can you actually like sit down maybe and listen to stuff? But this is really cool. I guess not. I, I still want to take a tour around Hogwarts. I did take today, like as a time off from work. So I was supposed to sleep yesterday so I could play today, but I just couldn't sleep. Uh, I, it's like 4 a.m. now, like the game unlocked yesterday for me. I think it was a Tuesday and today is a Wednesday. I should have slept, but I can't sleep. I just want to play some more. So here we are. I gotta take a tour around Hogwarts, but I think by doing the main and side missions, I can explore around Hogwarts and take this tour unofficial, like indirectly. Uh, I don't know where this is. I don't know where this is. Cat just spawned in. That's interesting. Or maybe it was just loading. I can't tell where this is. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. I think this is it, right? How nice to see you, my young friend. Uh, like a huge archway with columns, but what I saw. Wait, there Lumos. it is. There we go. Nice. Okay. That took quite a while. <laughs> took me like five minutes or so. Yeah, this one. Wow. Okay. And um, where was the portrait? Over there? Mm, wait, let me just check here. Put that in here. There we go. Now we get some experience for a field guide. Accio. Got six out of eight for whatever that is. Okay, so let's go to the dueling club now. God, I should have slept, man. I didn't. I just. I slept on the bed or I sat on the bed and I was just so excited. <laughs> And I, I, I was supposed to sleep, you know, take a nap or maybe like a small period of sleep so I can wake up refreshed, but I couldn't. I just wanted to play more. So I woke up and started off the PC again. And here we are. <laughs> but that was a bad idea. I'm going to probably... Whee! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> here I've come from the toilet Hello. bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your mole? That's rude. As long as we're only okay, I wish I could meek, do something about that, but I guess I can't interfere. Not for the meek. Also, what interesting Please thing. Me, I can't right hear the, the soundtrack, or do I hear it? Now I can hear it. Okay. It was so quiet down there when I was searching for the moth. I should have slept so I could like play when, I, when, when I'm refreshed. Now I feel terrible. I feel like I need to sleep. Oh, cool. Wait, let's check this one out. Lumos. No, Revelio. Uh, yes. Something here? Uh, the statue looks some like something. Accio. No? Never mind. I guess we we'll try the dueling club. The off Can records. You? you are you gonna duel me? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I did take him that through. That's nice to hear. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Honestly, if it, even if there was no prize, I'd like to practice like dueling people or when we fight actual enemies and I don't know, Death Eaters maybe. <laughs> of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, 
In crossed ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Oh, really? The first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Wait, so it's a two on two? Or is it one on one? I don't... Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Or did, did they mean when they meant like du duel with a partner? Yes, it's, it's a we'll two on two. You regret cool. Up. Okay. Initiate round. Let's do this. Break throw yellow shield with control spells like the levitation. Caps lock. Target lock. Let's see. Track enemies without aiming. Uh, too complicated. Let's see it. Okay. I'm just going to play and figure this one out. Hey. This guy's just focusing your enemy. I'm going to focus on mine here. Boom. Nice. Ooh, okay. Where's my health, by the way? <laughs> this is so cool. Wait. Boom. My ally is useless here. Wow, okay. <laughs> nice. That was really cool. Okay, wow. I need more combat nice now. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up. And you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. I wish there was more combat. Hope to see you back here again. It's, it was one of the things that I also had a gripe with in um, High Five Rush. The combat is so small, and most of the game you just do walking, so... Even though the combat is great, don't take me wrong here. It's the same here. The combat is so short. I guess we've done with side missions. Let's go do this. Wait, no, there are more. Oh, Transfiguration class. Can we attempt that? Or is this the main quest? I think it's the main quest. Yeah, meet Professor Weasley in the Transfiguration class. I guess we go here, but one thing I wanted to do is remove that terrible hat that we have. Doesn't look good, honestly. Change appearance. Remove hat. I feel like I look better this way. I don't think we got anything else, so... Do we need to heal? By the way, like, we took damage in this fight. Do we need to heal, or does the game automatically heal out of combat? Yeah, we're gonna do that quest. Okay, fine. I think we automatically heal, which is good. Let's go here. Boom. This is supposed to be an RPG, so I'm expecting, like, a skill tree, classes, potions... Uh, I don't know, spell casting in different types of uh, trees, so charms, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know what the types of spells are, but I'm kind of expecting something here, I don't see anything though, all I see is me learning, I mean, it's good that he can learn spells from classes, but I'd also like to learn, maybe the Patronus charm, Where, where's the Patronus charm, by the way, and Dementors, where's everything that we've seen in the movies, there's a lot of spells that I've seen, in the movies that I, ha I have yet to learn, but I'm hoping that soon we'll have like an arsenal of spells on us. If we open this menu, you can see there's a ton of stuff here, so I'm so excited. Let's go. Initial thoughts. My initial thoughts of the game so far is I, I one of the things that I really like is that Hogwarts is filled with students. Not on your nose. Thought you'd want to know. For some reason, I thought that was um, Hagrid. <laughs> I don't know why. Wait, this is not the Awful way. when they ask you a question, Larry. The, the castle is filled with students, and this is great. The problem is most of them are just generic NPCs, really, you know? There's a chest here somewhere? What? How is this possible? There's also some kind of noise. Rebellion. Oh, okay, nice. Wyvern Fountain. The Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students despite the rumors. Possibly started by Sir Cadogan. Cadu, Cadugan. <laughs> this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lovely knight in spite of himself. There is a chest, and I don't know where it is, and it's bothering me. <laughs> is it. There is something happening Rebellion. here. Is that like a trimmer? Like, 
Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> like grass trimmer or something. We got the chest for now. I don't know where it is, honestly. Never mind. Okay, forget the chest. <laughs> I was trying to look for it. Let's get this fast Off travel point. Are we? And then do that to start the main quest. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? No, Professor. Oh, she's trying to get more information out of me again. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. As long as they're fun, I'll take it. What more work? Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. What more can you tell me about the potions shop? What's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I've never heard about these. Not in the movies, not in anywhere. <laughs> so there really is an Ollivanders here? There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. So I can see some references to the original movies here or whatever but I why not everything like why not maybe put in the main characters Hermione <laughs> Harry Potter and Ron Weasley probably copyrights and everything but this is a reference to all Evanders you know I don't care about the potions shop am I gonna be doing potions maybe can you tell me more about the potions shop professor J Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients although they rarely sell recipes Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Interesting. Why a couple of recipes for me? Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd take Natsai, honestly. She was cool. Or Sebastian. Sebastian seemed cool as well. <laughs> I don't know. Both of them are cool. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> sure, Sebastian. There we go. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, cool. Now that she mentioned that person, Victor, I feel like we're going to fight him on the way. <laughs> or fight them, I don't know who they are. So the professor is waiting for me right outside the door, right? Oh. To receive your first assignment, assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that when completed reward you with new spells. Ooh. Reward for completing your first 
assignment will be the mending charm reparo. Oh my god, yes, we need to do that right now. Wait, there's another quest right here that is locked, maybe because we need to finish that one first. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Repero in no time. I, I, I wanted to ask what is the purpose of the tasks when they could just teach me the spell instantly? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I didn't understand, like, what is the point unless this ta these tasks are going to help me learn Repero? I'll start on the task right away, Professor. So what is the task? I collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page near the defense against the tower. Okay, arts. This is the right area. Dark. I wonder area. where the flying page is. There it is, right? Got it. That's one down. The other one is at the defense against the dark arts. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Here, really? Oh, there it is. Easy. Brilliant. Easy piece. I also leveled up. Nice. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Is enunciation Remember, like pronunciation? Your wand is a conduit oh. of your magic. What is happening here? Multiple buttons now. I wish there was some way I could wave my mouse or wave my wand using the mouse, control the wand using the mouse to perform the spell. But I guess that would be too complicated, wouldn't it be? <laughs> we got Reparo, nice. Can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment, cool. That's it, very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Where is that statue? Oh. Are they talking about that one? Repair. Nicely done. Works like a child. Oh, not that one. This one. Okay. Well, it does work. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. Never mind the statue. So now we could go to Sebastian, I think, and go to Hogsmeade. I just want to make sure there are no other side quests in the area. No side quests. Okay, this is where I am. There is a side quest. Uh, Zenobia Noak is fretting over his over her missing gobstones. I still don't know what gobstones are, but we get one handles for that. Let's try and do this. I don't know what gobstones are, but I guess we'll figure it out soon enough. And I don't know what you do with one handles, except maybe craft better ones. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Oh. Well, right, I'm here. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Why does everybody hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. That's a terrible game. Sounds awful, yep. 
I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Exactly. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Um, I'd have done the same. Honestly, I can see why people hate her. She's being very rude right now to other people. <laughs> Sounds like, I honestly, I would have done the Sounds same. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Am I talented? <laughs> any ideas how to reach them? You don't have any friends? I feel bad for her, but at the same time, she's like, everybody's a loser because I beat them in this stupid game, so I don't know. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Possibly using a broomstick, right? I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. By herself. Okay, that's pretty sad. Wait. Wow, there's a lot of markers now. If they're pretty high up, I don't think I can reach them. Yeah, I feel like... Wait, let's do one of them. Like, mark this. Okay, let's try that. Sure. And see if it's actually reachable. She did say they were very high up, which means they require flying or something. Let's see here. One of them is here, right? I don't know. The problem I better is... better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's oh, gobstones. High places. I mean, the... <laughs> Interesting. I don't know what a gobstone looks like. That's one of the main problems right now. This guy's still doing magic with his wand. Okay. I'll trade you a spoon's worth of Maybe we'll leave this until we get some kind of... Did I do something? No? Okay. We'll, we'll leave this until we get, like, a flying mechanic. I can't tell if it's there. And I don't know what it looks like, sadly. So for now... Skip that. Let's do the main mission. We'll do it. I promise we'll do it once we get some kind of way to fly. Rewards ancient magic. Okay, this guy's gonna reward me with ancient magic. I don't know how that's possible. Okay. Do you think Elizabeth would like a fanged geranium? They're beautiful and terrifying. Is that a flower? Like Probably not. <laughs> she, I promise you, she would not like that. Wait, can I use that? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> it's creepy, but it's cool. Are these murmur? Mur I can't remember the name. Wait, there's a field guide here. Rebellion. Rebellion. Boom. The ornate fountain features intric intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sires. No. What were the other people called? Mermaid, mermaid, I can't remember. Mermaid, something. I, I can't. Stop. It's terrible. <laughs> Memory is terrible. Oh. There are stuff inside here. Oh, but I need a Alahomora. I don't have obviously let's just keep going and hope that we can unlock flying soon because I feel like there's a lot of stuff hidden up in the castle very high up Rebellion. thought that was some kind of interesting statue never mind near the entrance to Hogwarts I to so this is the entrance I yeah the statues I remember these so the main hall level one lock Where's, like, the, the dining hall where they eat? I honestly have no clue. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll follow well, fancy meeting Sebastian. You here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well... I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. 
self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need, shall we? I feel like this character is so shallow. I, I don't know. You easily asked me to join you today. They, As am I. They Thank you. Talking the to me so. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Everybody, like everybody's so nice to me. Speaking of Weasley, and they don't mind helping me for some reason. You. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything. Given my detention record, oh. spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Wait, we can go out of Hogwarts and actually explore. This trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Oh wow! Can I like <laughs> go I anywhere sense. I'd like? It Madame seems like an open the world. Librarian was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. <laughs> Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. This guy's a menace, apparently. <laughs> Causing trouble left and right. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion. Ooh, brilliant. can I get some of that? Oh, nice. Okay. What about these? Okay, never mind. <laughs> get that. Let's keep going here. I don't know what these flowers wear, <laughs> but they're funny. <laughs> Imagine having flowers that just make these weird noises <laughs> in your room. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to live Not with that. Beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's Where going is on? what? See for yourself. Oh, Griffins. Oh my God. It? You certainly don't see that every day. Wait, let's get this. <laughs> Can we ride a griffin in this game? I hope so. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already. Oh my god, this is so cool. All of this so is open for, for me to explore? Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah! You can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. I don't see anything. Where is Hogsmeade? So it's like you a walk a from... To explore the castle. A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. It's natural instinct, I guess. I don't know. By, uh, well, way of spamming left click and... <laughs> I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage oh a God. bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. No, I hope it actually has a lot of events. <laughs> I want to do something exciting here, like battle enemies. Kill. You know what? I'd be fine with killing a dragon here. I don't know how, but I'll take it. Wait, there is an icon over Mr. here. Moon. Oh, he's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Like Mr. Filch? <gasps> Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Huh? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you! A Demi, guys! I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've Wait. never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Wait, there's an ore here. Can I mine that somehow? Here. The character. I don't My know if that worked, but... Yes, it did. Cool. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? 
She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Okay, I'm, I've been trying to listen to his talk. Oh, this is Hogsmeade, right? Yeah, cool. Can you let me just be on my way here? Thank you. <laughs> You've been very helpful so far, Honestly, but... Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place... I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. I mean, it looks amazing, honestly. It looks like the kind of place where you'd like to hang out. There's no benches to sit at. So how out. would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. I get to go shopping, yes. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Oh, I'm having a ton of fun. Don't you worry about me. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate. It's the map. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that Hogsmeade? Okay. This is the potions shop. We'll go there. I want to buy a wand first. Yeah, you guess we'll go in order. Olivander, wait, Olivander is right next to me. What? Let's go buy a wand here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to choose, but I hope we can. Wait, search. Oh, I got a chest. Nice. And apparently, it's better than what I have. These goggles that I got—that would be so weird. Wait. Oh. <laughs> But this one, no, both of them increase defense, don't they? I want one that increases offense, but I don't think... Oh, it's locked. Why is it locked? Oh, because I need um, level 6, I think. Yes, and I'm level 5. I'm almost there. I just need to do a couple of side missions or whatever. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um... Just a moment, please. He said it's you. Uh, Does he know me? Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes. Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Finalize wand. Wait, we can craft our own wand? Spiral ash brown, but... I uh, went wand style. How intriguing. Oh, you can... Oh, you can customize your wand. Oh, that is cool. I like the warm brown. Okay. Not this. I, I like this. Curious I like this quite indeed. a lot. And this is the variations. I like the dark one. Finalize. Don't finalize. Um... So I guess you get to craft your wand. I remember the test. I did one of these tests while I was waiting. It How said 12 and a half inches wood type vine wood. That's what the test told me. Uh, vine. Flexibility. Uh, I don't remember what I got, but I don't know what that means, though. Also, like, uh, stiff or flexible. Okay. I think I got, like, unyielding. <laughs> that would be terrible, no. We'll do it in the middle. I don't know if that makes a difference in any way. Glorious indeed. Ooh, I think I got dragon heartstring in my wand. Not sure if all of this makes a difference or not, but... This is what I got in my test. I, I This is honestly pretty complicated for me. I didn't read the bo book, so I don't know if this makes a difference in any way or not. In the movies, they didn't even mention the wands that much, you know? What do you think? <coughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thank you, Mr. Ollivander, for the wand. I also did not pay any money for that, which is bad, but you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Free wand. Where did I need to go again? The, the potions shop over here. We need to visit tombs and scrolls. And we need to visit the magic knee. All the, don't know why I need to visit all of that. I wanted to spellcraft seeds and potions. I guess. Yeah, so we need to visit all of that. Okay, good. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Ooh, okay, here we are. I think these are the ones for free. Yep, healing potion. 
Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Oh, cool. Feel free to take a look at the rest of oh. my inventory. Or come back another time if you're These in a rush These things today. are... Pretty expensive. Wow, okay. Focus potion reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. So this is honestly amazing. What is that? Oh, sell. We should sell our weaker stuff? No? Has no magical properties. Yeah, I feel like we should. This one we keep, though. Hmm. This one, well, sells for zero. Do I sell my older stuff? I, I guess there's no point in keeping them. I hope I don't regret this, though keep that i think i have a better hat this one has no magical properties i'll keep the gloves for now we'll delete you and this one we'll get rid of i have better glasses as well there we go nice i got wigan well potion and endurance endurance and hailing essentially okay Tombs and scrolls and ma the magic knee for the seeds, probably. Magic knee is right here. Let's go there. Where's the tomb of scrolls? The tomb of scrolls was way back there, next to the Ollivanders. We'll get to all of this soon enough. Let's go and buy everything that we need. Oh, we can teleport to Hogsmeade. Okay, well, I mean, that helps quite a lot. Might not do that, though. Well, I, I feel like there. I'm just going to be walking all over the place. I'm not going to use fast travel, hopefully. Timothy. Hey, Timothy. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Interesting. So what do I get? Why do I get seeds? Do I get to grow my own plants? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest. Am I going to play farming simulator here in my free in my like dormitory or something? I don't know. I feel like that's not an interesting mechanic if that's the case. I don't want to grow my own plants. Come on, man. Wait, let me mark this just to make sure we're good here. I could easily get lost here and I'm trying to follow the main mission. Wait, there's a Revenue. No, not you. Accio. Get this. Cool. Nice. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of locks on buildings. Probably I'm not allowed in there. These are people's homes, right? Level 11? No, level 2 lock. Okay. Let's get to this shop and then we'll go back to Hogwarts. I don't know what we're going to do. An inquiring mind. Oh, is that a bank? Rebellion. Nope, I did not mean to do that. But there is a lot of chests in the back of the shop, but I'm not allowed to go there. Never mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. 
Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, well, once I get these, where do I place them? Do I have my own place somewhere? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Potting table oh, with two large pots, spell Better craft. go and find Sebastian. There's a lot of things in here, wow. T-shaped potion station, spell craft, unlocks the ability to conjure a T-shaped potion station, perfectly suited for all your potion brewing needs. I don't know what to do with these, honestly. Maybe we'll figure it out soon enough. Oh, we gotta meet Sebastian in the middle of the town. I, I, well, is this, where is the B and Barbs? I think it's called, I don't know where it would be. Because everything will start with a B in Hogsmeade. Wait, I, is it, is it really that case? No, no, this is just a coincidence. Ollivander starts with, a, with an O. Zonko's, wait, Zonko's is here. Wait, wait, wait. This is um the the Weasley's shop, isn't it? Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Come on. Is there like wait, this is so cool. I can't believe it. it kind of looks similar to the shop, but not the way I remember it. Can you actually buy something from here? No, it's just wait. Bewildering can of mystery. Oh, it's some fire. Quality surprises can and distributed by Anderson Bros Co. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Lot, lots of funny toys, but nothing of importance. I thought I could buy something from here. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's cool that I placed this shop. Okay, now I want to go to the B and Barbs, or Barbs and B. I can't remember. <laughs> Another Zonko shop. Maybe an entrance from the other side. Wait. Oh, she's making rockets. Is she actually gonna fight? Oh. I don't know why there are no like she just fired a rocket. Why was there no noise? That was so weird. That's another cat. Okay. There's Sebastian. Let's not talk to them. I want to find the BM barbs. Uh. I I don't know where it is. I don't know what it looks like. That's an outpost. Honey Dukes. I remember this in the movie as well. This is where they buy candy. Yes. No, don't eat that. <laughs> I've stopped eating candy quite a long time ago because, well, sugar, unhealthy, etc. <laughs> I mean, it's a game, right? You can eat as much candy as you want. Have fun. <laughs> what is... <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh my god. Is that a different type of candy? Let's not... Touch that. Ooh. That's not gonna make me float, right? Or explode or something crazy. This one is doing something. <laughs> okay, I remember that one. What is it called? What was that candy called? I can't remember. This is locked. Is that money? Yes, I got some money. Okay, cool. These are the ones that hurt you, right? Oh, never mind. Nope. They are fire breathing candy. <laughs> wow. Cool. Any more candy around that we can try? Come on. This one is weird. Okay. It's like cotton candy, but magic? <laughs> what is happening right now? Am I going to get my own cotton candy? Or is it just going to keep spinning like that? I don't know. I think this was it. Okay, never mind. No more candy in here? There is another... Oh. Upcakes? Possibly. I should stop eating. <laughs> this, this is not healthy. No. Okay, wait, wait. Let's get out of this shop. Uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> stop. I love how I can just eat without paying for anything. That's also cool. <laughs> I feel like that's stealing, though. Can't find the BM barbs. Let's talk to Sebastian here. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. from the building. 
It's a quick time event, okay. All oh, right, okay. I didn't believe we could find a troll on... on oh my god, we're gonna find a troll. Hey, oh, control to dodge, I forgot about that. Oh, okay. Can I lift him up? Oh, there we go. Oh, the is not working. Oh my god. We're dealing with... I get a amount of damage here, but no! Oh my God! What does he do? What was that? I taste oh, the can, like pull in objects no, and does. throw them at, at the enemy. Cool. Reminds me of control. Levi also, come on! No! Don't hurt me! No! Oh my God! Take that! Take that! This is so cool! Boom! Oh my God! Don't hurt me! Bingo. That's right, you lumbering louts. Boom. He's faltering. We're almost there. Oh. Let me go. I wish I could get some kind of other spell. Damage dealing spell. Bingo. Boom. This is so cool. Wait, X to invoke ancient magic? That was cool, man. <laughs> that was crazy. Is it only one troll? Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Is it normal for, for trolls to be attacking Hogsmeade like that? I, I'm not entirely sure. Repairer. Oh, Haluda, a moment in your okay, I'll go and see what she wants. That is so cool. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Thank God it doesn't have a cooldown. That is amazing. Wait, let's repair everything here. I could do this all day, honestly. <laughs> Wait, this doesn't work? Fix this, brother. Actually insane. Wow. <laughs> oh, cool. Repairer. This is such a cool spell. I wish I had a spell like that. Give me that, though. Repairer. I wish I had some kind of spell that would that would help me. That would save a ton of time in my life. <laughs> it helped me maybe tidy my room up, <laughs> clean my room. I don't know. Oh, do that. So cool. There we go. All fixed up. Gonna be the the. Good Samaritan here and help people. Is that glad? Should I go in here? Is that like a police station in this game? Mr. No? Hill was just singing your praises. Who's this? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. That's too far. That's far too generous. Thank you. I'll take it honestly. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. 
now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? It's good, I'll Plenty take it. Your perusal Ooh, today. Yep, it's take a free robe. And it's better than what I have. Okay, I'll take it, honestly. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> You've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Yeah, <laughs> I've equipped a lot of gear in my time. Okay, never mind. Your current defense and offense are displayed. Okay. Select the cloaks and robes. Here. Oh, this is way better than what I have. Okay. I already know how to do that. Thank you for the tutorial, though. Let's see what's that? legendary. But wait, it's legendary for 500 only? Interesting. Maybe. I feel like it's cheap, isn't it? No? I have no clue. Like for a legendary clothing, that's pretty cheap, I think. The the um the spell crafts cost more than that. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Wait, there's something hidden here? Oh. Should you be blind? Gladrax Mannequin, unlike the enchanted mannequins, is favored by students for dueling practice. The mannequins at Gladrax serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Okay. Peruse my shop at your leisure. There's a chest here. Wait. Get this. Oh, I got another robe. What? You gotta be kidding me. Is it better than what I have? Oh, it is. <laughs> Wait. It is better than what I have. What on earth? That's so cool. <laughs> wow. You know what? This one looks better than the um, original version, I think. Yeah, I think this one looks cool. It's like the Quidditch's outfit, maybe. I don't... I'm not entirely sure, but look, I like it. I'm gonna use it. I keep it on as an appearance. Yeah, it looks way cooler. Okay. But what happens if you interact with these? Oh, they move. Okay, cool. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so where are we going, Mr. Sebastian? Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. You're so slow, though. I mean, <laughs> you should move. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? 
Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later.